Okay, so we are back with the apartment tutorial series, and uh, we're gonna we're kind of in the end game with this. Uh, the buildings themselves, they're all finished. They've all been placed in this little complex here, and uh, all that remains to do is build a small park on this side, a leasing office with the pool on that side, landscape this stream, which I'll probably do on my own time, and uh, one thing with the garages that I'd like to show you guys, and that's really about it. Uh, it's, yeah. it's been like two months since I started this, so I'm not going to say it's been a long time coming, but kind of has been a while. So it was a bit more drawn out than I hoped it'd be, but what do you do? Okay, so let me see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, so one, two, four, five. Okay, so this one that I'm focusing on. Okay, so what I'm gonna do with this one is just make it into like a place where the garbage bins and stuff would be. That's a fairly simple thing. Just put one oh no. One, two and one, two on the other side. Put the trap doors on top and do that thing. And then these will just be like the trash dumpsters and then we'll have two smaller, well, two single wool blocks as the recycling bins. So I'll just place those and lids. There we go. And a button on the front. And that will finish that. There we go. Okay. Awesome. Alright, so that's one more little touch. And I guess I should put in some street lights in here. Okay, so I'll put one at the corner. I'll just put one at like each corner. I think that should be sufficient. Maybe one in each corner and one in the middle. I think that'll be enough. Just looking for the slab. There we go. Okay. Alright. So, let's see. Here is basically the middle, and then this is the middle of that. And, okay. Let's put this in. One, two, three, four. And put the slab on top of it. There we go. Okay, and let's just do that again. I should get rid of that sheep because it's just going to sit there and tear up the grass, but. You know. it seems like every so often I have to uh, turn off mob spawning in the game rules, but every so often it just turns itself back on again. Either that or this was here before I did that. But hey, let me show you something neat with these sheep. Ah, uh, potion of invisibility. No, I need the splash potion of invisibility. It's kind of hard to tell the difference between the two. I mean, it's 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 subtle, I guess. Subtle, subtle, whatever. Is this? Yes. Where did the sheep go? I don't see it. Oh, there. Wow, that covered a lot of ground. Usually they just stay in one place. Also, you probably noticed that I did the sort of mowed grass pattern and added in some gravel too, which is cool. So let's see if I can hit this thing with these. Hey, there we go. Check it out. Check it out. It doesn't have a face. It's missing like half its legs. Disgusting. Yeah, there we go. Let's see. Okay, so enough of that. Let's go back to the street lights. And we're just going to do the same thing. One on each corner and then one in the middle. 
Why? Because that's easier than counting out, say, 30, 40 individual blocks and doing that. Trust me, I do that with the actual residential neighborhoods, and that's one of the things I dread. I could probably do it just as well with MC Edit, but you know, I always forget and end up doing it by hand, so whatever. Let's, there we go, okay, and then let's do one in the center. And that's one of the things I don't like about MC Edit is that it always messes up the doors. And that is just so incredibly annoying. So incredibly annoying. Let's get up again and let's see. Which one is in the middle? Two. Wait, back out a bit more. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, okay. This one here, I think. And if it's not, oh well. The lag and these broken doors have soured my intent to fix things enough for, this to, or for me not to care about this being totally accurate. What's a block or two between friends, I guess? <laughs> Okay, so let's put one more on this corner, and then we will move down to the last building in the complex, and then after that, we will do the street running through the complex between the buildings. Okay. Fixing those doors, I guess that's just something I have to do off-screen, because uh, that's not terribly entertaining and doesn't contribute very much to the tutorial, so... Two, three, four. Okay. Alright. So let's do this again with this one. Let's wait for that to load in. Come on. Come on. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, there we go. Alrighty, so let's see. This is right in the middle here and right here. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Alright. And one last one here. Two, three, four. Okay. Alright, so let's just do the same thing with the uh, front entryway. Kind of. Main through road. Whatever. So let's see. Is that four? Uh, two, yeah, that is. Okay. Alright, so we'll just do one of these on either side, just for the sake of giving kind of a, a colonial square sort of appearance, because usually in those like old-timey downtowns, the streetlights are placed, I guess, uh, one pair at a time, as in there's, there's one on both sides of the street, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Anyway, let's do this again at the end of the street. And then we'll do it again by the walkway. One, two, three, four. Okay, and then that, and let's move over here. Two, three, four. Okay, wait, nope. We got that. There we go. Okay, now let's move on to these, and then we'll be done with the street lights for now. Okay, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four. 
Okay, and then we'll do this again on the other side, and that will be it for the lighting in this part of the complex. Three, oh, oh. and four. Oh, okay. There we go. And let's do that again. Here. I'm pretty pleased with how this has turned out so far. I mean, I'll just have to do the landscaping, and that's probably an off screen thing, too. So, yeah, and then I'll be done with this. Kind of an uncanny feeling actually finishing a large project. <laughs> Every other large project I have is still ongoing. It's just one of those sort of things. The more you think about how much you have to do, the less you want to do it, you know. Okay, so let's see. In hindsight, I should have done this in MC Edit, but. Hindsight is twenty twenty, and I could right now, but I don't want to have to close Minecraft, open MC Edit, blah blah blah. For you at home, I could just basically uh, cut the recording between those things, so it's like, well, but that only takes five minutes. No, not for me, it doesn't. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna try to make a little park in the center of this grass slab here. Beyond that is gonna be a small pond and in front of that I don't know, maybe some landscaping and a little sign. And that's where the pool and the like the reception or leasing office is gonna be. So let me just you know, I'm gonna go ahead and stop the recording so I can count with a little less lag here. I'll be right back.